Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the new settings that Apple has added to the new iOS 18 Beta 1. As you probably know, iOS 18 Beta 1 has just been released a few days ago. It comes with a lot of new features and changes, but of course there will be new settings as well. So in today's video, I will show you guys 12 different settings that Apple has added to iOS 18 that you must change on your iPhone. Now, first of all, we're starting with the battery settings. Now, we have a setting that ha actually has been here before, but it has changed with iOS 18. Now, when you go to your battery settings, you will see here charging, and when you go here, you will have the charge limit. Previously, you only had one option here, the 80%. So you set the limit by enabling it and it will always be at 80%. But now you will have the ability to actually choose the limit you want to set from 80% up to 100%. Of course, that doesn't make sense because at 100% it will stop charging either way. But again, you can just go ahead and pick the percentage you want. Now the best of course, is right here that 80% which will keep your iPhone's battery healthy for a really long time. Next up, we're moving under accessibility and we're going here to Siri. We have a couple of settings that are really, really important. Now, first of all, we'll, we have here something called require Siri for interruptions. So basically by enabling this, you will have this pretty cool feature on Siri where you can actually just say the word or the hey word and then it will actually interrupt siri so let's say you ask something siri is speaking then you want to interrupt you want to say something else all you have to do is just say the siri word or just say the hey word and then siri will stop and will listen to you and the next one will be listen for atypical speech. Now this one is really important as well. So if you use Siri a lot, you have to enable this. So this will basically expand the speech patterns of Siri and will listen to you and of course help improve the speech recognition while you're speaking. So if you use Siri a lot, these are two new settings that I suggest you turn on on your iOS 18 device. Now here's a pretty cool new option that Apple has added for the camera app. So head on to settings under camera, you will have here record sound. We can choose stereo or mono, and then right here you will have allow audio playback, which means that while recording with your camera, you now will be able to actually record and have audio playing in the background, simply by enabling it right here, and it says here, audio playback will not pause when recording a video. So that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Now this I'm about to show you guys here is probably one of the coolest features that you have seen on iOS 18. So let's head on right here under accessibility and then go to touch, scroll down here. We have something called sound actions. Now this is pretty cool. So what you can do here is actually perform actions using one of these sounds. So let me just show you guys how cool that is. So if I just want to lock my device, all I have to do is just say, shh. As you can see, the device has been locked. So this is how this works. It's actually pretty cool. So you go ahead and enable any of these sounds right here. So we'll have different sounds. And of course, choose what action you want to set for each of the sound and you're good to go. And we're back here under the accessibility settings and let's go to motion here. And what we have here is a new option for the iMessage app. If you have seen the new feature that Apple has added to the messages app, we have a lot of different cool animations. Well, you can enable those animations to actually play automatically by enabling this button right here, which you can find under the accessibility settings and then you go under motion. Next up, we're going here under the keyboards and typing. Again, we're under the accessibility settings. If you go here, you will find the new hover typing feature that Apple has added with iOS 18. And this is where you can actually enable this new feature. Now, right here, there's also a setting that you need to change and that's the display mode. Now, the display mode will basically set where that part, that hovering part is, above the keyboard, which is actually maybe the best one, in line, which will be in line with the text that you're typing or at the top 
of your screen, but I prefer this one right here, probably is the best option. And then right here you can also change the display colors for your hovering typing. So you will have the text color, you will have the background and the border color. You can simply tap here and just choose any color you like, any color you prefer that the, you think that it will look better on your device. And of course, we'll have the best option for you. And we have another setting right here under accessibility, and that's vocal shortcuts. This is pretty cool as well. So what you can do here is perform different actions using words. So I can say lock and it will lock the rotation of my device. So you tap on add action and you set up vocal shortcuts. You tap on continue here and you can choose here what you want to do. So maybe see the charge time, the charging notification, clear off photos, email myself, FaceTime here. These are some of the shortcuts that I have on my device and you will have the system actions as well, like lock the screen, go to the home screen, turn on the flashlight, for example. These are pretty cool. And you enter the command here and once you're done, you tap on go, flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. And this is how you set it up. And then all you have to do is just say flashlight and it will actually turn on the flashlight of your device. Flashlight. And there we go, it's now turned on. Now with iOS 18, Apple has also added a new app to iOS, and that's the password apps. Now here we have the two last settings we're talking about in this video. First of them will be suggest strong passwords. So every time you're creating a new password, you will have this suggestion by the passwords app to actually create a better and stronger password for any of your accounts. And the last one, detect leaked passwords. All the passwords that you have saved on the app, if they're leaked, they will automatically be detected by the app and of course you will be notified. So these are some of the new settings that Apple has added to the new iOS 18 and of course the proper way to configure them on your device so you can get the most out of the new iOS 18 beta one on your iPhone. Of course in the next days we will probably discover more options more new settings that Apple has added to iOS 18. And of course, during the summer, we will have a ton more updates, a ton more new features and new settings that Apple will add to the new iOS 18. So once this is final and it gets released to the public, we will have a full video on all the new settings and of course, how to configure them on your device so you get the best out of your iOS 18 device. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.